Hi and welcome to this video where we are going to go through how to draw 3D images using Tix. So the first thing I should admit is that Tix does not have a real 3D engine. This means that everything you see is just a projection down to 2D and that Tix only can represent 2D things. This does not mean that Tix cannot draw 3D like images. It just means that the way Tix handles 3D is to project it down to 2D and handle it there. Okay, so let's start creating this image. So I will split my screen and as always, I will delete all the code, which we are going to make along the way. And let me also delete this library here, which we are going to go through later. So let me now compile the image and we see that everything vanished. So if I want to draw a line in 3D, it works just the same as in 2D, except that we can take in 3D coordinates. So let me draw the line between 1, 0, 0 to 0, 0, and then the square root of 3. Like this, and remember the semicolon, so let me compile this line. So now we see that we have a line here between these two points. Of course, we cannot see 3D on the screen because it's just a projection down to 2D, but Tix will take care of this projection for us. So we do not need to do a lot of computation making this projection correct. So let me just continue this line to minus one comma zero comma zero and compile. So we start here at 1, 0, 0, make the line here to 0, 0, 0, square root of 3. And then we go down here to minus 1, 0, 0. One thing that I want to go through is that you can save your coordinates with a specific name. So instead of having 1, 0, 0, I can save this coordinate with the name A. And whenever I want to refer to this coordinate here, I can refer to A. So let's go through how to do this. So let me write coordinate. And then the name of the coordinate, which is going to be A. And then I want to say where the coordinate is going to be. And let me say that this one is minus one comma zero comma zero. So the largest coordinate here, and let me compile. At the current point, I do not use this coordinate here, but what I can do now is to replace this one with parentheses, a parentheses, and compile. And now we see that the image does not change. We have just renamed this coordinate a. So the nice thing now is that if you refer to this coordinate a many times and want to change your image a bit, what you now can do is just to make the change here and it will update the entire picture. So let's do it with the two remaining coordinates. Let me define coordinate b to be one comma zero comma zero. And finally the coordinate C to be at zero comma zero comma square root of three. And let me write here instead of this coordinate here, I can write C and instead of this coordinate here, I can write B. So let me compile the image. And you see that nothing happens, but now I can, for instance, update this coordinate here. And now the entire picture updated. So let me take it back and compile. So here we have our original picture. So I can refer to the same coordinates as many times as I like. For instance, now I can make a dashed line between the coordinate A and the coordinates B and compile the image. So what I have now is the base of my prism and what I want to make is the top. So what I want is to take the base and just make the same triangle, but just add the height of the prism. So first of all, I need to define the height and I will do this with another coordinate. Let me call it H for height and I want the height to be in the second direction like this. So now I have the coordinate H and what I would like to do is to draw the same triangle just with the added height. So what I need to do is to add H 
and the vector a. If I try to add these two vectors with a plus symbol, Tix will not like this. But what you can do is to import another library, which is called calc, and then you can do calculation with your vectors. So let's do it. So we will import the use Tix library. And the Tix library we are going to import is calc. Tix has a lot of additional libraries, which add some more functionality to Tix. And this one is the first one we are going to go through, which is the calc library, which makes it so that we can do calculations inside Tix. So let's go down here. And now I want to add A and the H. So let's try to do this line just with the added H. So I use the draw command. So all the calculations need to be inside dollar signs. And I want to take the coordinate A add the coordinate h and end with this parentheses here and i want to draw the line to exactly the same thing only with the coordinate b here the calculations need to be inside dollar signs b plus h and then end the parentheses and end with the semicolon and let's run this code and now we see that we have added a single line here and this line and this line is the exact same line, except that this one here is higher. So let's also just continue the same triangle as we have here to make the top of the prism. So I now want to take the coordinate C plus the height and here. And then I want to cycle back to the starting point. So let's run this code. And what we end up with here is the top of the prism. So the calculation library can not only do sums, it can do scalar multiplication and minus and a lot of other stuff. So if I want to multiply this coordinate by two, I can start with the parentheses and then the dollar sign two times this coordinate here and with the dollar sign and, and the parentheses. And if I now compile the picture what we get is now the coordinate a is minus 2 comma 0 comma 0 so we end up with this point here being shifted so let's multiply all the coordinates with 2 2 times this one here 2 times this point here and finally 2 times this point here. So now what should happen is that it would be twice as big. So let's see. So now we end up with a picture twice as big. Okay, so the final thing we need to do in our image is to add these lines here. So this is the line between point A and the point A plus H. So what we can do is to use the calc library again. So let me go up here and go from A to a plus h and the parentheses here and with the semicolon and let me recompile so now we have the line from a to a plus h however there is another way to do it so if you want to have the line between a and a plus h what you can do after the line is to use the plus symbol here and then we can delete a here and the dollar sign. And what this code does is to take the point A here and take the line between A and A plus H. So if we compile this again, nothing should happen here as we see. So let's do it with the remaining three lines. So we draw from B and then we add H and we draw from C and then we add age like this and let's compile. So here is our finished picture. So next I have a small exercise for you that you can try out on your own. So here I have added a picture of a cube, which is very similar to the original prism we learned to draw. So I want you to try to do this on your own and draw this picture here and try to use what we have learned with the calc library and drawing with coordinates. Okay, so this was everything I wanted to say in this video. 
If you want to see more similar videos to this, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.